All right, I said in a previous video that I would discuss how I created this. Um, if you were creating something like this, a window with some kind of a wire mesh over it or a fence, um, it could lead to a, quite a lot of polys. The frame itself is pretty low poly, but this could be quite a bit unless you were doing it in a texture. And here's a way that you can do that in Substance Painter. So I brought in the model and I've baked the mesh maps already. And you can see the way that I decided to do it as with two materials or texture sets. I've got the window frame, and if I get rid of that, I've got just what I call the window grade. It's just a plane, and this black stuff is the shadow left after baking the mesh maps. Okay, so that's just a single plane. We're gonna create that fence-like structure there in just a moment. So the first thing I'm going to do, however, is I'll do a little bit on the frame, nothing nothing much, but basically the way that I did this is I took this plastic grainy uh, material and I applied that, I scaled that to, let's go for 10. All right, so now we have a finer grain there. And what we can do here is let's add a filter Let's add this directional blur, make it 90 degrees and just lower the intensity. And it gives a little bit of the impression of wood grain. I'm not gonna do a lot of work on this, but a little bit, all right? I'll come back to the layer. And because I did it blue in my video, I'll make this a bluish kind of color. You can do whatever color works, uh, works for you. All right, so we got that. Uh, we can do another layer with a black mask. And I'll add a generator and I'll do metal edges. And I'll bring that down. I'll bring up the grunge a little bit like that. And then I'll come back to the colors. And uh, I can sample this blue here and just make it lighter. Just, just a little bit of something almost like stylized edge That's just, just for something then I could do one more and make this maybe a dark color to simulate dirt and I'll do another generator and this one will be dirt it'll put it mostly in there and a little bit a little bit elsewhere maybe on this layer just for the hell of it we could drop the height a little bit and get that now i'm going to come up here and i'm going to switch this to 2k to get a bit more resolution so it almost looks like wood maybe it looks like leather i don't know but anyways so there's the frame okay so we move on now to the part that we want to do here Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in a base layer of aluminum. I, I, I think we want a, a pretty bright metal for this to work, uh, for it to work well. I'm gonna add a fill layer with a black mask and then a fill. And I'm gonna come to the fill with the grayscale. Come to the procedurals and search for fence. Drop that there. I'm going to change the scale here. I found about minus um, six tends to work relatively well for what I want. Now we're going to be using opacity, so we'll make some changes up here to the shader. I'm going to change this to alpha blend. And in the texture set settings, I don't have an opacity channel here. So I'm going to add one by clicking here. And plus so now I have an opacity channel come back to my layers here in fact, just to come here for a second I'm gonna add one more um, I'm gonna add a filter and it's going to be invert and that's gonna flip this and I'm gonna come here and I have opacity I'm gonna alt click that I just want opacity and I'm gonna take this and slide it all the way down to the left so it's completely see-through now so I've got the beginning of that fence part let's go back to the fence and I mean bring the hardness up a little bit I'm gonna change this and bring this mask to height up to just about halfway all right 
click on this bottom layer and add another fill layer right in there and I'm going to add a black mask and I click here I'm going to copy this mask down to here paste into mask come here and I want just height and normal so I'll click height and normal slide the height down and you can see the thickness coming in and that is essentially it all right and to prove that you can see through here I'll bring up the environment and you can see the environment through there now what I did in my scene here is I put just a black plane in, be in behind there just a little ways back and made it just black so that it was blocked and if the light you know there was a light over here you could see there'd be a little bit of distance between this you know mesh thing here and and that so it's up to you or if you want to just have it as like a, a fence or a window that you could see through you could do this now of course when you export this let's say you're going into blender you would have to have a template here that has opacity in it so for example I have one here and I've got some videos on this maybe I'll link you to a video I've got the opacity channel down here so that when you set it up in blender you will be able to see the opacity so uh, this is a single plane and it looks like a fence so hope that's useful